It's a popo. Popo, 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 popo. Do they have? Is it a box? Is it a car? It's just a car. Well, that's boring. Just a car. That didn't play or whatever. One. How about they do anything when they didn't pull anyone over? What the hell? So, welcome YouTube to Bucky's Sunday afternoon ride, or Saturday afternoon ride. Oh, I've just finished work down in the beautiful Penrith. <laughs> the riff, buddies, it's always the riff. <laughs> what the fuck? That was a fucking loaded of Porsche. Man, I wish I lived in Springwood sometimes. Whoa, that was, that was a good one. Yeah, pretty good day at work today as well. Cool thing, found out that finally bringing Icon back to Australia. So I've got to be able to get an ADR approved Icon variant. Fuck yeah, excited for that. But which one? Who knows, it's probably gonna be another couple of months until we get them. But things are looking up, things good on the horizon. And a new bike later this year as well, that'd be awesome. Two bikes, one for road, one for dirt. Apparently there's some dirt trails up around here as well. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if I can find any. That'd be interesting. I should go looking. Let's take the motard off road today. Ha, huh? good joke. Take me to the bar. This is a perfect area. There must be some sort of bush laying around here. House, 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 house. Fucking houses! I want some bushland. What? So if you know, you don't know I'm on Hawkesbury Road at the moment, or Springwood Road, whatever people want to call it. So many different names for this road. Just depends on what you want to know. Pretty much the road between Springwood, Yarramundi. Nice open road when there's no cops on it like there was before. Yeah, there's one there, so hopefully there won't be many more. Always good to have a fang down, fang up it. Really nice road. Not always the greatest condition though. And clearly bushfires. Affected the bushfires. So late last year we had these bushfires come through New South Wales. They fucking tore through that on some army base. Pretty much moved all the way into the Blue Mountains, which is fucking ages away. It travelled almost a good 200, 200 kilometres. Like so many properties. Killed a few people as well. Pretty devastating time, but that's the Australian bushland for ya. Fucking Australia. That's what it's like, it's designed for bushfires. Just have a stop here. Whew, that was a big one. <laughs> I should probably should turn the bike around. Might help with it. Well, this over here. Never been this way. Ah, prime parking. 
<laughs> so here she is, boys and girls, my bike. This is Bucky's DRZ 400. So, what can I tell you about my bike? I've had it almost since brand new. Probably since April last year, roughly. Since then, clocked up 21, almost 22,000 Ks on it. Fucking heaps, man. I ride this bitch every day. <laughs> oh, she's a slut. <laughs> she's a slut. A slut. <laughs> but seriously, so much fun. It's a great learner bike as well. It's just so reliable. Except when it's leaking oil. Sometimes. When it's fixed. So what have I done? I've done a fair bit to my bike. So I've got my Pro Taper handlebars. Nice gold ones just over there. I've got my massive fucking Yoshi header pipe. That's fucking massive. It's like, I've gone from being like that to like that, you guys. It's freaking massive. Which leads into my nice Yoshi. Bit dented up over here. Still a nice looking pipe. As I was saying, good gold bro pro taper contours. My blue grip and my black grip. Don't ask me why they're different. Long story. Move the key, as you have to with those bars. What else have I done? Fuck, I got the B&B &B rack on the back. Freaking nice little untail. Black, nice black tail light. No, no racism intended, but it's actually pretty cool. This black one's turned off, but you turn this thing on, it's nice and red from behind. It's really good. And some of those massive, those freaking tiny LED indicators, they're freaking bright as all hell. If, in both day and night, like some people all the time, they're gonna give no light, mate. They're fucking amazing. So, yep, big steel bash plate, a steel fucking carry rack. Now, my rims, my freaking rims. <sighs> I get a boner every time I look at them. <laughs> but seriously, they're amazing. I got the gold SM Pro rims with the Talon Hubs from JTR or John Tipman Racing, it's a little Australian company down in Melbourne. Did me a good deal on those. <laughs> so much fun though, like, it just makes the road way better, like, uh, having the, having the dirt wheels before doing 13,000 k's on those, 14,000 k's before I freaking just got sick of them, <laughs> yeah, so 14,000 k's on the road, it's just shit, like, you can't compare, it's just so much smoother, so much more fun as well, going and sliding into corners, sliding through car parks and everything. But yes, my bike sort of does have a few wear and tear marks from a few different crashes. Most of them off-road, except for the one on-road where I broke my wrist. But mm, that's just what happens. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying earlier, I'm on Springwood Road at the moment, or Hawkesbury Road, or whatever the fuck it's called. Little road from Hawkesbury Yarramundi, really fun. Has some nice open bits that I just did. All the way to this beautiful lookout picnic area thing just here. And then what I'm about to do, I'm actually about to head into the twisties, which will be fairly fun. <laughs> Hopefully. As long as there's no traffic that's left before me, but I don't think there has been. Well, so it's not much. So hopefully it'll be nice and clear. It's always good fun just fucking fanging it down there. <laughs> okay, time to get going, I guess. This is the after late afternoon, just finished work. <laughs> Fuck that slab. Whoa! -ho 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 -ho. No cars? All good. Time to fucking bang this bitch! Oh shit, you turn. Woo! Oh, the U turn come up. Yep, there's another one. Freaking. Freaking U turns. Oh shit, that was a bit slippery. So no 
cool thing about my bike is over the SM and the S model, you got your stage one cams with stock. You also got your big flat body 39mm carby. So instead of having your normal butterfly valves like most carbies have, it has actually what's known as a slide, so pretty much a bar that goes up and down as you open up your throttle. So much more responsive, so much more power as well. And with the bigger 39mm compared to the 32mm, you're getting more more fuel, more air into your cylinder. So it does perform nicer. Get out of here. So we're gonna chuck the U-turn, so it should be good to just continue fanging it down here for a bit. Oh, mountain bikers. Yep, this is Yarramundi people. Yarramundi. Yarra fucking Bogan land is what it really should be called. open stretch where you can absolutely bang it through here. Ha, let's go speed run. Woo! Woo! Oh, string. Oh, string my god. Good fucking joke. I think I should head up it actually as well. I'm gonna stop down here, chuck a Yui, head back up the road. Yeah, let's chase <laughs> So YouTube, there's one thing I want to talk about is going to the movies. Like, the other day I asked one of my best friends, who happens to be a girl, that she wanted to go see a movie. Like, not as a date, but like, she just wants to go see a movie and like, I don't see a problem with that. But for some reason, it's like, nah, it'll be weird seeing a movie with a guy friend. Like, that I don't get. How is that weird? It doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, we can hang out as much as we want and watch the movies in your, in your own house. But yeah, going to the movies, nah, that's just weird. Man, it does make no sense sometimes. Like, what I want to hear from you guys is, do you think it's weird? Is it, is it okay to go to the front movies? with a friend that happens to be a girl. I did it last week and wasn't with someone else that happened to be a girl. But it wasn't weird. We went out to a bar and had some drinks after. Still wasn't weird. But no. I think it's just immature really. Like who the fuck can't go see a movie as friends? Apparently, if you ask someone to the movies, it's like asking them out to dinner and on coffee, dinner and the movies, and you just want to have sex with them. What the fuck? Apparently, it's like asking a girl to have sex. So, guys out there, don't ask girls to the movies unless you actually want to have sex with her. Otherwise, I think you want to have sex with them. All the others go, no, it's weird. But yeah guys, I want to hear your response, see what you're using, so feel free to post a comment below. Also guys, go and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and to my Facebook page. Because, why not, YOLO. Whatever that, YOLO, YOLO. Yeah, YOLO, go YOLO it. Subscribe to my Facebook page. Give me some views guys, I need them views. And let all your friends see it as well. 
pass the word around. Bucky's here and he's here to stay.